Hey guys, uh, there have been a lot of questions about my diet, what kind of things I eat. Uh, mostly just from friends and family, they're just curious and looking for some advice. The answer is pretty straightforward, going off what I've done in the past and some of the research I've been doing. Um, I'm going to do the diet that's outlined in 4 Hour Body by Tim Ferriss. So Tim Ferriss, he's, I guess you could say he's a motivational speaker, he's a best-selling author. He has a very good podcast and he typically gets a lot of good people in the strength and conditioning world and exercise world on. Also just celebrities, other people, and he'll usually ask them about their fitness and their diet. I'll have a link to his website down below. Based off what he outlines in the book, based off a lot of the research I've done in the past, based off diets I've done over the past couple years, I'm going to give the 4-Hour Body Diet a shot. Anyway, one of the things I really like about his diet plan is he's a big believer in getting a lot of protein in and getting it early as well to get the body to recover, to help promote muscle growth, to alter body composition and boost metabolism. So because you guys absolutely enjoyed the pork fried rice video, um, I figured I would make uh, a smoothie video. So it's a pretty straightforward green smoothie. The recipe and uh, all the relevant info will be linked down below. Okay, so after looking at about a zillion recipes online, I found two or three that looked promising and kind of took the best elements of all three and tweaked the variables a little bit so they fit the bill. So hopefully this works. I'm not expecting too much out of it, but at the very least you guys will get to see me try something that's potentially pretty disgusting. All you need is one cup of chopped kale. So just chop up as much kale as you can and cram it into something that's one cup. All right, so this next part is where people really went off the rails. So the issue most people have is that a lot of protein powders you can get off the shelf have some kind of artificial sweetener or some kind of added sugar. If you really think about it, for the nutrition you're getting out of a scoop of, what, like a quarter cup, I'd say whatever's in there is pretty negligible. But then again, we're going to see how this works for me. Uh, the good thing about this, though, is the protein powder that I've been using, just because it was on sale at GNC, has 25 grams of protein, so it wasn't too hard to push everything over that uh, 30 gram per protein target. On top of that, it's vanilla flavored, so I have literally no idea what it's going to do to the flavor of this. I imagine it probably tastes pretty good with the, uh, the almond butter, though. So, thankfully, I didn't lose the recipe for ice. I get the feeling I should have put the ice in first. But my specific recipe also calls for about a tablespoon of flax seeds, just because of the health benefits, the omega-3s that are in them. However, um, when I looked in the back of my fridge for the ground flax seeds I had, and I saw the expiration date was November 30th, 2016. I figured it was a good idea to leave them out of this round. But we're going to pretend that I put flax in this smoothie, okay? That's just between us. Alright, well, here goes nothing. You know, it's actually not that bad. Um, I think most of it has to do with the vanilla flavor and the protein powder. It makes it, at the very least, taste like something palatable. Uh, nonetheless, um, I'll have more information about the recipe. I'll have the macros up at the end of the video as well.